you know Rolf and uh, Goku have the same voice actor? Get the fuck out of here. I swear to God, the English English? voice actor. Yeah, the English voice actor and Rolf have the same voice actor. So somebody did a meme where uh, Rolf has a spirit bomb and he goes, You're there, Mark, the son of a shepherd. (laughs) He just fucking (laughs) obliterates Frieza with a fucking (laughs) spirit bomb. (laughs) AOA, that's a triple play. New episodes of Kim Way. The first game, press play, no need to debate. AOA, check me out. Look, clocked in, you could catch the hype. Golden Dawn, how we follow the light. Anime like life, uh, married to it, my wife. Uh. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, people of all ages? Welcome back to the AOA show. I'm your host, Zoe Z, and along with the boy Isaiah. Yo, yo, yo. And today we are hitting you with another blog post episode. This is part nine of the series covering chapters 251 to 259, right? Yes. Yes. Again, huge shout out to our mods in the Discord and for our YouTube channel that is that have compiled this list for us. And we also have some bonus content at the end covering interesting blog posts from earlier in season two. Um, that it's the fifth part of that that we've done uh, ones that we couldn't cover beforehand yet. so we got chapter 251 neighbor and note actually i only use 10 percent of my manuscript i'm sorry i'm having a hard time drawing haha <laughs> this is the afterwards for season two chapter 251 here's a simple doodle to start today which we can't see <laughs> <laughs> just imagine <laughs> yeah. in your mind's eye everyone close their eyes with me as i say reads this and envision it in their head go ahead all right let me set the scene when i was in college I wasn't the type to have such comic-like imaginations, but perhaps because I'm a comic artist or because my life is so meh, I imagine (laughs) or hope, what if a day was 48 hours? Or what if I had two bodies? Now that I think of it, they all relate back to the time or deadlines. Hmm, what has my life become? Is that the picture description? I think so. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> gotta, gotta be honest, I wish weird. I just had the picture. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, school, 48 hours. <laughs> then he's like, that's Life it. This sucks. Is- <laughs> <laughs> anyway, proceed. All right. Regardless, I do often imagine having two bodies. Perhaps they would let me have a boundary between my normal self and author self. Like most white collar workers, I hope that I have separate work life and personal life. Just work in moderation. And other times I can develop myself, go drinking on the weekends, get some sleep would be nice. I am, but I'm realizing authors don't get to do that. It's, it's become impossible for me to imagine myself not drawing Tower of God. That's what I think about. On the other chapter, Yurek's anklet has been undone. The design looks suspicious, but regardless, Tien, in Korea, criminals of sexual crimes have to wear electronic anklets, often called silver anklets. Okay, so that's an interesting parallel. Um... One of the aspects I worried most about was on the floor of death was how powerful to set Yurek slash the high rankers. I had a problem because number one, the floor of death is a very dangerous place for even rankers. Number two, but due to the story structure, I can't have high rankers look weak yet. So that's interesting. He that goes, was, yet. Yeah. <laughs> that was something we brought up just recently in talks between you and I um, that like, you know, we'll, we'll get into it later, but the, the structure of the arc in terms of floor of death, mm. uh, it's a little bit, a little bit like, eh. And um, it's just interesting to see that he was, you know, you know, was also thinking that in terms of like, oh, I don't know what to, how to how to structure this exactly. Uh, those two were conflicting. As an author, I have to stick to my setting. I have to stick to my settings and determine how much to show in a chapter. But I have to also consider the narrative and the longevity of the work. So that's how Joe came to be. Joe is currently very powerful, but he has a weak side of the level of he. On the level. Oh, but he has a weak side on the level of regulars, so he felt like a good fit as an enemy. And Yurik became the enemy, not because power or balance or the flow of the battle, but more like how Joe dash Yurik's story is resolved. I thought I wanted that to be more of a focus. Well, he he. You'll see plenty of Yurik and Joe going boom boom next week. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Narrative is hard. <laughs> Damn facts. Uh, on Hell Joe, Joe is indeed from Hell Josin. See below. Actually, before starting on fl- the floor of death, I asked myself: the floor of death is supposed to, is supposed to be a really hellish and dangerous place. What kind of place would it be like? A place that looks like there's deadly danger everywhere? A lawless place? I thought of it, but it's too common of a concept, and I haven't lived in such a place. 
can only get so far without either moving up the webtoon's age ratings or making it tacky. If I went that too that too obvious route, would it be fun? Those are my thoughts. So I looked around myself to find that what to find what would accurately depict the floor of death, and eventually that led to Hell Joe. Sounds a bit obvious, but this is perhaps a different story to the floor of death than what you guys were thinking. Hell Joe's story will continue next week. The fight with Yurik was a hard draw, but I hope you enjoy it. Well, stay happy. Have a good week. I hope to return next week like a zombie from the dead. <laughs> Thank you, SIU. This poor man, bro, is literally like sign is now. Because remember, like last chapter blog post, he'd be like, "Have a good week. Stay happy, healthy." Now he's literally signing it off of like, "Stay healthy because I am dying." <laughs> SIU, <laughs> please send help. Anyway, you ever see the Rick and Morty episode where he's Tiny Rick and was like, "Yeah, Tiny Rick," and then he's like, "I want to die," and he's like doing the thing like, "Yeah, see you, Rick," and he's like, "No, really, somebody help me." <laughs> That's what I picture. It's terrible, dude. Oh, my gosh. My gosh. All right. Anyway, uh, chapter 252, Naver Endnote. The uh, the saliva will bring back the senses. Had to be there. Had to be there, I guess. Um, I guess the picture. Yeah. Weird. Maybe we should stop reading these. Anyway, this is the afterwards for season two, chapter 252. It's hot during the day, but cold in the night, meaning it's easy to catch a cold. Everyone stay healthy. That's actually really fair. That's one thing that actually drives me crazy about winter <laughs> in general is that it's like you go inside and it's like, <laughs> like the heat's on and it's like crazy. But then you go outside and it's a meat, like the temperature difference or sometimes when it's cold, but it's sunny out, you'll be like wearing a bunch of clothes. And then it's like the sun is just boring down. So it's just like through a, a jacket or something. You're just like, uh, and then you take it off and you're immediately freezing. And it's like, pick one. At least with summer, it's like, I know I'm miserable and hot the entire time. You know, it's like, whatever. If I just strip down, whatever it is. Anyway, that's the end of my rant for that. I hate winter. Anyway, moving on. Um, I'm, I'm at a cafe right now. For someone in my line of work, having a 24-hour cafe in front of my house is a plus in the environment. Whenever I'm gathering my thoughts late or working without being shut in, I can't sleep well on Monday nights either. So I pull all-nighters at the local coffee place. Wow. So, yeah. Rachel finally woke up after getting a shot. Not quite. <laughs> Let's see. There was Hell Joe versus Yurik's fight. Hmm. When I wrote this chapter, I thought Yurik's lines were a bit too cheesy. But that's a Yurik thing. And I thought that if Yurik went all out, it would be it would, it would have been no fun. So yeah, sorry about that. Talking more about Yurik. So so in Yurik Mazino, Yurik's goddamn, sorry, there's a lot of Yurik. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Talking more about Yurik. Yurik's from the Korean word rockfish. Uruk. Yurik, whatever. And Mazino's from the Mag Magina Magna light line. Yeah close enough why rockfish well he's gray and rockfish are white fleshed so yeah <laughs> i wanted him to be like eminem and be free spirited or that was my hope but in reality he's that idiot older brother <laughs> facts right uh, even the altar's like like you know again and it's yurk's character where like the design makes him look cool until you hear him speak and you're like what <laughs> Anyway, sorry I butchered that paragraph. No, Moving on. Since the ten family heads are so struck up, or stuck up, serious and authoritative, I wanted to make Yurik, who is on their level of influence, much more free spirited. He's actually quite smart. He's not the idiot brother that everyone thinks he is. <laughs> Even though I just called him the idiot brother. Yeah, yeah. He's no. like kind of like the idiot brother, but he's actually not. <laughs> yeah, yeah. On the fight scene, I always wanted to do something unique for each fight scene when I make them. It may be hard to understand, but I keep wanting to always try new things. So I sometimes add redundant imagery. Yeah, gonna have to keep working on that. I worked hard on Yurik and Hell Joe's fight scene. <laughs> Are you okay? Oh, I just hit my, my funny bone and it's so not funny. <laughs> Cue the laugh track. <laughs> oh, anyway. anyway, well, there goes another week. Have a good week. Stay healthy. Hope to see you next time. Thank you. As I you. All right. This poor, poor man, bro. Can't catch a break. All right. Chapter 253. Nay, note. It'd be fun to have a friend like Yurik, which is a comment about a picture that we can't see. And I will <laughs> reference the fact that we can't see these pictures every time because it's kind of fucking ridiculous. <laughs> uh, today, here's a little taste of the book one cover I've been working at. Thanks to that, Everyone I've been working full steam all week. Damn, what a great cover that is. You know what my favorite part about it is? This mm -hmm. part right here. 
Yes. Yeah. It's really I have my hand on it. I think it really paints an image of uh, Yurik and, like and Bob his, Ross. Yeah. It's good. It's good. It's already June. And season two is already at chapter two fifty three. When I get better, I may try to get some gossip on the most requested character. I want to do so much, but I can't do them all. This chapter, poor Red Bari, Urex indeed strong. Uh, and a note from Nathan, in the blog post, SIU refers to the Red Theresa as the Red Bari. I'm not sure if this is just a random, uh, if this is just a translation error, or if it's a second name. I have changed all uses of Red Bari to Red Theresa from here on for clarity's sake. Okay. Thank you, Nathan. Interesting. Uh, like I said last time, it's hard to show us Yurik's full power, so I have to balance it. I want to show so much, but I can only draw so much. I think that I think of that pretty often, but I'm trying my best to draw it out well. This chapter was pretty big scaled, so I had a bit of trouble. So the Red Thresha, hmm, administrators, they need to do nearly go- nearly godly powers in their floors, but with their power is shattered and they are unable to completely control the Shinsu in their domain. The power can become quite meaningless. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Red Thresha has had emotions which made it feel more incomplete. A full administrator on their floor is basically a god. It is rare that an administrator holds private grudges or expresses anger, with the exception of Hedon. <laughs> Interesting. Mm. Being incomplete due to emotions fits Hell Joe, doesn't it? Maybe I'm not sure. Oh, so Hedon is a an administrator, administrator the, confirmed. Yeah, of the floor test. Oh, that's interesting. Very interesting. I feel like a dum dum because I, I didn't know that. Like I didn't know he was like you know. We look at the thing that, um, uh, Enry you fought, mm-hmm. you know, and yeah. you picture that, and then you look at Hedon, and you're like, oh, yeah. you're, and even you're when the, when I didn't Om know first interacts with an administrator mm. on the like on the uh, the next floors up from the floor test, it's that like big alien yeah, looking yeah. thing. Like, oh, <laughs> that's what they all look like. Hedon's yeah. just like. <laughs> oh, like, okay. Okay, I guess Interesting. they all come in different shapes and sizes. I had that confused. I thought he was like, after the fact, they just kind of put him down there to be yeah. like... Although, you know, actually, now that we're talking about it, I do literally remember uh, that they said in it? the explanation of Enryu's fight with the administrator, administrators can take many different forms. True. So they, they may just take that to like intimidate people. Yeah, you know, he's like, don't... rabbit with staff. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's, this where, throw him that's off. what I want to be. I'm expressing myself. Get over it. <laughs> okay. Oh, all right. Uh, oh, here. Well, the Red Three Show will have secrets revealed in the next chapter. So, yeah, next chapter will wrap up a lot of will wrap a lot of the arc up. Probably going to focus on Desa next. Will Rachel come to her senses after a nice session of acupuncture? <laughs> <laughs> what is Karaka and Joaquin up to? Is Wong Nan napping? Find out next time in Tower of God. There's still a lot of important events yet to happen. <laughs> These days, I worry a lot. I feel like I'm happy and living well, but I feel sorry about my work. I'm not a talented artist. Yes, you are. Or an artist with gumption. Yes, you are. So I wonder if I'm hurting my own work. Eh. I'm really doing, am, am I really doing a good job? I work hard, but I, but am I approachable? The most important thing is the desire to make a fun work. But now the Tower God is getting older. I'm having thoughts like, I want to let my kids succeed. I want good things to happen to my work. That kind of feeling. I didn't know how to explain that feeling, but now I can. Well, I shall work harder. My job above all else is to show you guys good work. Above all else, I think my work is still not something I'm satisfied with. I feel sorry for you guys often. Well, have a good week. Have a happy week. Don't just die because of the weather. (laughs) Have fun (laughs) outside. Stay healthy. See you next week. (laughs) Thank you. My God, man. Just, I didn't, he needs an assistant. Not like, I mean, he does need assistance to like monitor, like help him with his work and shit, but he needs like uh, a dopamine assistant, you know? <laughs> Someone who like, he's sitting there like writing this and he's like, ah, am I worth shit? He's just like, yes, you are, Nick. <laughs> hugs him all the time. Yeah, so like, kind of just gives him a shoulder rub and it's like, no, you are worth it. You know, and he's like, you're right. And just keeps going like, this is oh my God. He just will like, and it's funny because he'll be like, you know, talking about th- th- the story and then just randomly he'll cut from like the story to be like, now that I'm getting older, I'm like, is life worth it? And I'm like, oh, whoa. <laughs> yeah, whoa. <laughs> what do we get here? Shit. And it's just, oh, my God. It is also interesting um, that he mentions up here, or not interesting, rather, because it's actually accurate on his part and wrong on our part. 
is that he calls him Joaquin. We've been calling that nigga White for so long now that I genuinely forgot he had another name. Yeah. And when he said Joaquin, I actually, for a whole two seconds, was like, who the fuck is Joaquin? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, oh, the nigga we've been calling White. Because in my head, I've already assumed, I'm like, he's going to get to his final Yeah, form. yeah, he's yeah. Got it. So it's it's like, just so much easier to say White. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, man. Anyway, moving on. Chapter 254. Neighbor end note. Will Joaquin become whiter here? I don't know. It seems weird. <laughs> this is the afterwards for season two, chapter 254. I'll be doing a series on characters and sports teams starting today. We'll start with the St. Louis Cardinals, the MLB team currently popular in Korea because of O oh Sen Guan. Sorry if I butchered that. That's actually not their uniform, but I had a Cardinal shirt at home, so I used that as a base. If you have a character and a team you want to see together, reply here and I'll consider it. And I believe it was a bomb or bombs in the next one, and he's got the Cardinals uniform, yeah, the baseball I think bat. This one looks was really rack, good. And then the next one was bomb. Oh, okay. You're right. You're yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. You're right. This chapter, a conclusion to the fight between the Red Thresha and Yurik. Self destruction, a major staple move in en- moving in enemy characters, brings another bad end. Don't self destruct, kids. I'll try not. Geo dude just looks. <laughs> <laughs> self destruct whenever the fuck I want. <laughs> anyway, the combat in this arc is more about the scale than details. So I focused on the kind of imagery. imagery. It was fun and a good exercise of what I would be drawing in the future. It was a way for me to establish how to draw in the Tower of God styles. Lots of hard work. Always working hard, even with shortcomings. Of course, combat between regulars will be more detailed and dense, I would think. I, and just a side note, I think I feel I, I think I mentioned this in one of the live streams, um, and at some point that it's like I personally like those fights. Like it was really cool to see Yuri and and Karaka and all that stuff. But now that we've seen like a decent chunk of these like super grand scale, it actually makes me miss the intricacy of some of the fights personally uh, of beforehand. like war bomb and um what's her face um lopobia lady uh, wow why am i forgetting this girl's name bomb fights a lopobia yeah the one that's the, on the name hunt station what the hell's her name why am i not thinking of this <laughs> oh, Elaine. Elaine, yes, oh. Elaine. For, you said Lopo Bia, and for some reason the sisters came No, I know. First, I just like, couldn't fight I couldn't think of Elaine. Yeah, Elaine. Okay. Sorry about that. Okay. Anyway, but like those kind of fights. Okay. Maybe yeah, yeah. appreciate With those his, like, strategy again. involved. Yeah, I do think it's, it's interesting that like scale. his while like his intent was that though. Like he purposely was like, Yeah, I for I for went a lot of the detail and like strategy because I was trying to emphasize just how crazy yeah. a fight can get, mm-hmm. which again, I guess makes sense if that's his intent. But of course, yeah, some people, and I, I actually kind of agree with you that like, I, yeah, over the two, it is uh, soccer. Good. It is dope to yeah. see those kinds of, you know, out of, out of, out of world fights happen. But yeah. Yeah. Anyway, just a side note, <laughs> my own blog post, side note. <laughs> anyway, uh, Where'd I go? Oh, also, it was a good chance to look into the voice slash demon bomb heard since the beginning of the Hell Train saga. Keep an eye on that. Because hey. I called that ish like a prophet. Anyway, so Red Threesha got mopped up by Yurik. But White, who is closer to being Bomb's arch enemy, call him White there, <laughs> is targeting the Room of Souls. Will White get whiter? If he gets any paler, he's going to be like Flower. <laughs> Stay tuned, everyone. We're now entering summer. 2017 is already halfway through. There have been more or some difficulties, but drawing Manwa is still fun. I always try to greet you guys with the best work I can make. I hope you guys enjoy each chapter. There's a new claw machine place by my house, so I've given it a shot whenever I pass it by, but I haven't gotten a single one. Perhaps making a claw machine place would give more profits. I daydream. (laughs) If you want to make TOG dolls, let me know. (laughs) I want to make rack dolls personally. Yes. Well, have a happy week, stay healthy, and I'll be back next week with Joaquin. Dude, I want Tower of God dolls like yesterday. <laughs> That'd be dope. Rack plushie. Just chilling here. And a cool one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Chapter 255. Uh, the afterwards for 255. I feel like we could stop saying that, right? I look at every, all these and, I, and I, I said to myself last chapter, I'm like, why do I keep saying that? I just yeah. said it twice. It's called uh, habit. And uh, <laughs> I agree. I will probably still say it, though. I have habit. <laughs> As requested, last week, it's Rack in the Chelsea, Chelsea shirt. It's an older uniform, though. I debated between putting in Lampard or Balak's number. Sports. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Niggas in sports. <laughs> I'm thinking about baseball again next week. The week goes fast these days. 
Due to the nature of my job, my schedule is set on a weekly block. I have the most fantastic experience of jumping from deadline to deadline, hee <laughs> hee. So I'm already here. I have lots of weeks left. So this week, White did something big. Joe and Yurek, hmm, it will not be the standard ending. That was my plan regardless. In some regards, Yurik and Bam are similar. They're kind and unassuming despite being so strong, but Yurik's nice only to those who he likes. <laughs> Aren't we all? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, top rankers don't care about the lives of regulars or even low rankers. It's like they live in their own world. They have their own goals, I mean. But if they haven't reached their goal as the top rankers, they actually have unachievable goals usually. White is in a similar situation. So is Joe. Hmm. I sometimes think that in order to become happy, you need to let go of your greed. But also, how is it meaningless to live a life without dreams? The world's so confusing. Hee <laughs> hee. Want to do too? M I I want to do too much, but can do so little, which only makes life hard for myself. Haha. -ha. <laughs> Something about him putting hee hee and haha -ha after being like, does life matter? I'm like, what's happening? I don't know <laughs> what you're trying to say. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> Personally, I've been going to therapy. Oh, thank God. I'm sorry. I just, this man has literally been shouting at us that he needs help and I can't, I can't do anything. I can't help. I just want to go to the screen, but I can't help him. And he's just been saying I need help. Oh, oh thank God. I've been going to therapy over the weekend because my neck and, oh no, not for your physical, bro. Tell this nigga how you feel. Let him know it's okay to cry. Tell him that you've loved and lost. <laughs> that was such a like a high to then just get immediately dropped down to a low. We were so close. I, we were there. I could see the light. Oh, all right. Not that his physical health isn't important either. So no, that's no, no, no. Good, get that yeah. fixed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because my neck and shoulder weren't feeling well. I don't know why it's correct. It wasn't because it's not correct either. Um, they tell me correct posture is important, but you can't draw in the correct posture. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I disagree. <laughs> this chapter is like the calm before the storm, so expect a storm next. Chapter? <laughs> Be on the lookout. Everyone stay healthy, stay happy, have a good week, and see you next week. Thank you. <sighs> so you... It's okay. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. <laughs> It's anyway, <laughs> chapter 256. I'll be. <laughs> <laughs> you said to no, stop. No, that was skipping. a different one. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. <laughs> I saw the bold text. Yeah, no, and I know. Tried to cut it. I'll be back after uh, a week's break. Thank you. Hello, everyone. This is SIU. Hi, SIU. <laughs> I'm sure you guys are all very surprised about the hiatus announcement. Whoa. <laughs> well, there's a few reasons why I'm taking the week off. Firstly, I'm not feeling well. I felt the need to take a moment to rest, especially because I have problems in my back and shoulder, and I get one paid break a year. So after a chat with the editor, I thought this would be a good moment to take a week off. I do have work saved up with the previous chapters, TN, Korean Fast Pass, but if I burn through them, I have to arrange two months plus hiatus. I thought that taking a week off from now would be good for the readers, so that's been decided. I hope you guys aren't too concerned. You'll have to wait one more week for the next chapter. I would be grateful for your patience. In this chapter, we have the head of one of the 10 families. This is Gustang's second appearance since the workshop battles. Perhaps we'll get to see a 10 family head mel uh, meddle with the story directly. Oh, okay, meddle with yeah. the story directly. Eh. White has terrible luck when it comes to enc encountering opponents, it seems, for real, right? <coughs> Facts. I swallowed my own spit. <laughs> <laughs> went down the wrong bike. Talk about unlucky. White doesn't even have it <laughs> bad at all. <clears throat> Sorry. There's not even hey, there's not even water in this. This is just, just a prop. <laughs> it's just a prop. I can't even This isn't even real. No, I can't even save myself. Anyway. <clears throat> The white you see here is not quite his perfect form, since the clone that is the core and the source slash essence of the power is still in the train. So he's still nowhere near as powerful. They're like, one day though. Which we were just reminded wait. of today <laughs> yep. by the good uh, sensei, Dr. Bonehead. Yes. That uh, she's still lurking. Mm -hmm. White's pretty even though he's evil. He <laughs> he. What do you mean 
White's pretty even. Even though he's evil? I don't know. He's the male character that I need to focus when drawing. Coon's already so hard to draw, but White's up there too. I'm confused. I don't know. First off, dog, Maybe you ain't telling me that thing. White's easier to draw than Coon. Or no, he is saying he's as hard to draw as Coon. But Coon pretty isn't that even. Hard to draw. I mean, I guess because he's got like like different hairstyles. <laughs> How the hell would stuff. you know? <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't draw Coon at all in my spare time right before I go to bed every oh, night. Man. Shut up. You do that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Weird. Um, anyway, I was just curious what he meant by more even, even though he's evil. Like, did he? Maybe, I don't maybe know if that's that, just what like that meant. The weird trend. I don't. Maybe even is not the right word. I don't know. Somebody has clarification on that. I'm curious. When I was drawing the bamboo spear scene this week, I had a struggle. I wanted White to look more elegant, but also stronger. Having those two thoughts, I decided it to be restrained and passing in feel. I'm not sure if it was effective. Well, we're faced with a head of the 10 families, so it may not matter whether White is strong or not. It's a mystery. Be on the lookout for that. Since next week's... Since next... <laughs> I'm so sorry. Since next week's off, I'm feeling pressured. Every time I take a hiatus, I always have to worry about how the readers will take it, how it will impact the work. I have to wrestle with those thoughts every time. I hope everyone will just be patient for one more week with a good heart. Well, then see you the next after this next week. That is not what that said. I improved it, and I did it terribly at that. So terribly, in fact, that I had to then tell you how terribly I did it. So stay happy, everyone. Thank you, SIU. I am so shocked. There's been an eyelash in my eye, bro, for like 10 minutes. And Loki, like, I'd be lying if I said it wasn't driving me absolutely crazy and making it hard to focus right now. <laughs> like, I'm going to go nuts. I'm also starving. So <laughs> there's that. Chapter 257. Um, we're going to skip. <laughs> after two weeks, here's the afterword for season two, chapter 257. He goes, we're going to skip that, and then reads the exact thing we said we were going you to skip. Because I, I saw <laughs> this. I don't know what the hell's happening anymore. I'm, I'm done. done. All right? All right? There's, there's, there's words, words here, here no <laughs> pictures, <laughs> and, and I'm five, and my, my little goblin, goblin brain can't take the, take the fact that there's, there's no pictures. pictures. I need pictures. Goblin slay up. <laughs> oh, man. Like tiny... Tiny lizard brain <laughs> needs imagery. <laughs> okay? Uh. <clears throat> anyway. I want chicky nuggies. <laughs> <laughs> I do want chicky nuggies. I'm going to get chicky nuggies over there. <laughs> it was really an inevitable break more than a hiatus. Like how everyone gets a holiday, authors need breaks too. Authors need break days too. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I didn't get much rest really. Maybe a day. I know you guys were waiting so hard for it, but I didn't get... That much rest. Tears. <laughs> just wording. Wordy, uh, whatever. I'm just <laughs> trying to justify the wording here. We have a 10 family head here. A bit more story about White is out of the bag as well. White is an incredibly big yet incredibly small character. Damn, White height complex confirmed. <laughs> a powerful slayer fell to the realm of regulars. A high ranker in the world of regulars. I wanted to create such a being. And in order to make him fall in line with the power curve and make the setting not co self-contradictory, -contrad I gave him the ability to collect souls to become stronger. And in the process, I also gave White a narrative of a son who, dis oh, who despite his extreme power, always feels short of his father. He's also a character that embodies the tower's conflicts. Mm. Fair enough. Well, we'll get more stories on the Ten Families and their Slayers. A lot of you probably already guessed, but most Slayers have a 10 family head slash Zahard or Jahard uh, they target specifically. Karaka targets Jahad, White targets Eri, and so on and so forth. Mm. Ah, interesting. I hope you guys enjoy... Oh, does that mean that there's a Kuhn Slayer who's probably going after uh, the Kuhn family head? I don't know if it necessarily has to be the Slayer is from the same family. I do think White's situation is very specific because of unless, how the army family conducts itself. Unless Karaka is a Jihad. Could be. I, I could be wrong. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I, I would like to meet like one more Slayer yeah, and yeah, see yeah, what yeah, family yeah, they're yeah, from yeah, and then I'm yeah. like alright, things are lining up here. But if it's like some yeah, yeah. rando, you know. Although I like, guess that would also make sense because if you think about it, they all have contracts with um, um the administrator for immortality. Mm -hmm. So I would think that one of the ways you probably try and contradict that is by getting somebody from their bloodline. You know what I mean? Could be. Interesting. 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 All right. When Gustang saw Bam and said that, 
there's one who may stand among us yet. There's one who may stand among us yet. He's not talking about just power. It could be interpreted as an expression of how there is another one who has opened the gates of the tower. Irregulars are special beings. Gator's back. <laughs> when he is, what stories are to unfold? When he is? <laughs> when he, who, when, who, where, where what, is. why, when, I don't know. What? Wait, that, What's, where is it, he? Yeah, it yeah. says what stories. <laughs> Dumb, Fernando. Dumb, I'm dumb, Fernando. Fin, bye, 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 bye. Keep an eye on that. What stories will unfold next? I'll do my best to draw it, but do my best to draw it to the best of my ability. For the previews, I'm going to take things slowly because of my back, but lots of new content awaiting us. So I hope you guys enjoy the slower pace. If I get too tired, I can take a break. Ag is punched. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know. I don't uh, know. I've lost. <laughs> Thank you for enjoying this week's chapter. Have a good week, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you. When he said my back's hurting, I was like, fix <laughs> <laughs> my posture a little bit there. <laughs> Won't catch me slipping. Anyway, chapter. You with your back straight and your broccoli in hand. Yeah. <laughs> I'll live forever. Yeah, yeah, eating the heads of broccoli. Yeah. People are probably like, what? <laughs> I tell you to refer to our previous blog post, but <laughs> they don't exist. They don't exist. Okay, chapter two fifty eight. Never neighbor end note. The back of the king's head. <laughs> Just picture the back of a king's head. <laughs> um. Anyway, hello. This is Sayu. Today's request is Hell Joe in Arsenal uniform, as requested by so and so Nim. I thought someone would give me the request because most of Hell Joe's servants are named from Arsenal related names. Insert untranslatable sports related pun slash joke here featuring a gallon of audios audios tears anyway they're a famous premier league team and i like them rather than bad intentions i gave them the names out of playful affection i'm still accepting uniform plus character requests this chapter released a lot of content and as the first revealed person of the 10 family head, he's a character with extreme influence over the entire story in the overall narrative he's a villain as well uh, he's got a lot of personal history, so be on the lookout for that. I like how he just straight up kind of like said, he's a villain. <laughs> Is that kind of like a spoiler? <laughs> Dude, SIU. Fuck us. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's like... Don't get I, any ideas, he said. I think, yeah. Well, I, I think the implication is that like he's not, um, he's not unwilling to branch out to villainous means. Yeah, like, yeah. I, I don't know. Because he says in the overall narrative, so like where goals line up and stuff like That's, that, I guess it's he's like an antagonist. He may look like a, a hero or good guy now mm. because of what he's doing. But he's maybe, got his own things. Yeah, ultimatums are interesting are to be considered. Anyway, the reveal of the second thorn fragment was something I debated a lot. I wanted to either elaborate on the story after the Helljo attack, but I also... Uh, Sorry, but I also thought about cutting the lore and going straight to the thorn fragment. I chose the latter and, ex and expanded the lore later. I felt that would be more TOG-esque, and there are some things better said in the continuing hidden floor or floor arc. I thought if there were some things missed in the floor of death, I can show in the hidden floor. And there was also the idea that arcs that are too long hurt the webtoon. Regardless, the floor of death and the hidden floor is like a two-for-one set of arcs. Perhaps they, they lead, they're they leading into the main plot as well. In this arc, you'll get to see more of the characters that didn't get spotlighted in the floor of death. I've been trying to manage my body more lately, but that's not easy. So I feel like I'm really in, an insufficient author. It's good that you get quality results proportional to the effort you put in. Ain't that the truth? But you can't help wishing for a miracle where good results come to you by luck, even when you are tired. <laughs> Ain't that also true? <laughs> this is why you need to keep your body and mind healthy <laughs> or something like that. When I ate like eight hours ago. Anyway, <laughs> I'm dying as I saw you. <laughs> so I'll try and rest up more when I need to. Of course, that's hard when you are greedy. <laughs> well, stay healthy. Have a good week. If you are a student, I hope you wrap up the semester well, but don't overlook yourself in the heat. I hope none of you are facing hardships. I know that there has been some areas damaged by floods. See you all next week. Thank you so much for this week. SIU. Oh, man. This is it. The last chapter. This is the afterwards for season two, <laughs> chapter two, fifty nine. 
Mm. I, I dead ass, bro, read that, and I wasn't confident that my brain like wasn't fucking with me. I was like, that says two sixty. Also, right? for about to read the blog post for chapter two sixty on accident. Bum bum bum. Whatever. <laughs> I don't know what's <laughs> real. All right. <laughs> oh, man, this week's request is also a team uniform plus Tower God character. It's Bam in the LG Twins uniform, as requested by. <sighs> At least this one has English H-W-C-L-V-L-Z lettering. H W C L V L Z, ten o six Nim. I would have preferred the Korean. <laughs> <laughs> they also requested Kuhn, but I'm only doing individual shots in the series, and you chose Bam over Kuhn. <laughs> Crazy, right? <laughs> Fucked up. <laughs> um, but I'm also doing individual shots in the series. I don't watch LG baseball, but they seem like pretty fun guys. Perhaps it's because they're in Seal. Next week's request will be anything. It's been a... Anything? <laughs> it's been a while since we haven't had a themed request. Yes, it has. This chapter, we have a new arc starting. Last week, the preview chapters... The preview chapters... Chapter was uploaded straight at... Straight as the free chapter. So it was wrongly a- announced that there's a break this week. There's no break here. <laughs> no break here. <laughs> no breaks. No caps. <laughs> Sorry about the confusion. This arc will be an in-between arc to the next one. Yes. Since the previous chapters were pretty intense, we'll be progressing like the like the quiet before the storm. Due to the nature of the story, Tower God has multiple long-term plots happening simultaneously. Instead of taking a long time for each arc, I try to go through them as quickly as possible. Of course, I add more details to the story as needed. I struggle a lot. The perspective from the fans can be divisive as well. I do pay attention to the matter. Well, for the first time in a while, this arc focuses on the behavior and changes in relationships among the regulars. So we'll see a lot of description of regulars we haven't seen in a long time. After all, the focus of the webtoon is on the regulars, not the rankers. So characters like Endorsey or Rachel will have stories you guys look forward to, hopefully. I am looking forward to Endorsey's story, (laughs) not Rachel's. Recently, actually always, I thought about how I can do long-term uploads in a stable manner. Serialization brings competition, and since the market is so volatile, the longer I, a work is, the more likely it'll end up becoming formulaic. To experiment and venture out, I'm getting old, and the work ages as well. It's hard. There's a lot I can do, but I worry if I can do it well. I always hope that I can always be decisive about it as I was at first. Fantasy, after all, should be an exciting spirit of adventure, in my opinion. Next week, we should show us next week should show us more waves drama hitting the story since the next arc is also fairly important and content rich story wise i hope you guys are excited about this bridge arc as well well have a good week stay healthy and i'll see you next week thank you (laughs) that's all all right all right mods who worked on this week's blog posts include 90 percent nathan and 10 percent pranov 24. Thank you very much to all the Love mods y'all. that worked on this. We couldn't do it without you guys because we quite simply don't have the time. So I really do mean <laughs> yeah. that. Thank you. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed our read through of these blog posts easy, and our easy. many reactions and ridiculous, quirky laughs and stupid stuff, <laughs> idiocy and all that kind of thing, uh, all wrapped up in one nice, neat bow for you guys to enjoy. Um, but seriously, this was a lot of fun. And uh, I can't wait to get into this again. (laughs) And thank you to all of our fans who have been bearing with us. But anyway, until next time, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for listening. We will catch you on the flip. Peace. Peace. Ninjas are samurais. Blaze of the kunais. Find me in the leaf of the cloud. Screaming out Bankai. We just some ghouls, though. Who likes seeing parts fly?